So by now you've all probably heard that Burger King is buying Tim Hortons, everyone's favorite neighborhood coffee franchise. Maybe Canada's long-standing fascination with the monarchy has finally expanded to include any pretender wearing a paper crown, or maybe Burger King just needs a place to get a tax break and hide all those unsold chicken fries. But fear not, because the CEO of Timmy says that nothing's gonna change with the restaurant. Although it does feel weird, I always think to call Tim Hortons a restaurant. I think maybe food store is more appropriate. Anyways, he says that this will still be the same Tim Hortons that sells Dutchies and Timbits and Double Doubles, which I guess doesn't necessarily preclude the possibility of a Dutchie quad stacker slathered in onion ring sauce and Oreo bits. With Burger King's presence in something like 100 countries worldwide, Tim Hortons is bound to grow globally. It's gonna shed its sort of cult Canadian status, making it basically the arcade fire of food stores that sell Blue Jays donuts and coffee that tastes like wet leather. There may be a sort of desire to lament this, but American companies have long taken over Canadian brands. Things like Molson and Labatt's and even the Bay have been manhandled by foreign companies at one point or the other. And anyways, it's not like this is the 70s. Canada is a huge foreign investor worldwide. Did you know that we have huge stakes in Northern Ireland and also Montenegro? So I find it sort of weird to see people getting legitimately sad about a coffee shop and not even that good of a coffee shop entering the global market. I mean, in Canada, you can't swing a cat without hitting a Timmy's. All they can do is grow globally. And anyway, if our sense of national identity is that tied to a food store whose legacy is double doubling our daily intake of cream and sugar, maybe we need a serious rethink about what we even value about being Canadian. In any event, I, for one, look forward to being able to get an ice cap and a duchy when I'm visiting, I don't know, Taipei, at the very least Montenegro.